Hi everyone, this is Ashwarya and welcome to a new video. If the YouTube gods have led you to me for the first time, I'm an immigrant living in Vancouver who makes vlogs about Vancouver living and also gives you some important information about how life is going here. We are a household of two people and I will give you an in-depth breakdown of our expenditure in the second most expensive city in North America. This is very personal and I deliberated whether I should make this video or not for a while. But then I thought if it helps everyone else, why not? Okay, so let's dive right into it. The biggest expense for us in Vancouver is our rent. We live in a one bedroom apartment and the rent is $1,600 a month. We chose an older apartment in a considerably old building, not too many renovations, no brand new appliances. So the rent is a little less than if we would have chosen a nicer posh apartment. Make sure that you watch till the end because I will add all the expenses of the month and show you what the final total is at the end. Second biggest expense is our car. The monthly EMI, gas, insurance, all that costs us $1,100 a month. Gas is very, very expensive right now and this figure for us have gone up considerably. It's a big, big expense if you're planning to land here soon. My advice would be to use public transit for the first few months and get a car if you need it and can afford it in a few months later. Let's move to the third largest expense. We are a family of two and groceries for us are $700 a month. We are non-vegetarians and I cook at home a lot. Our groceries include food items like eggs, milk, dough, rice, chicken, fruits, fresh vegetables, butter, oil, spices, many, many things. This also includes monthly supplies of laundry detergent, garbage bags, kitchen towels, all these items. Groceries are super expensive right now. We are spending way much more on groceries than we spent two years ago. Our internet plan is $125. I need to switch to a better plan. I've been too lazy to do that. Phone bills for the two of us are $225. It's high because I have a new iPhone and it's financed. Our cable is $110. Now let's talk about my commute to office. I have a monthly compass pass that covers transit. It costs me $181. We like to eat outside at least once a week. One meal on an average with 15% tip costs us $70. So total cost for a month is $280. These are all basic expenses. We need this much money at least to survive, right? But on top of that, shopping, travel, buying luxury items is a plus and more. I haven't mentioned those expenses because they vary from person to person. So our basic expenses per month are, wait for it, living in Vancouver has been way higher than before because inflation is on a rise. You can also check out this video from me if you want to know more about cost of living in Vancouver. I hope this video would make it easier for you to calculate monthly expenses for your family. If you have kids, you can increase grocery prices accordingly and also refer to this video if you want to know prices of two to three bedroom apartments, grocery items and other expenses in Vancouver. Please do drop any comments or questions in the comment section and I will surely respond to you. If you want to know me more, you can check out my other videos on how life is for me in Vancouver. There are also some other informative videos for those who want to immigrate to Canada and make Vancouver their home. Thank you very much for watching. I will be back with a new video soon. Until then, stay safe and be kind.